We are good. We are good. Yeah. Which I one of you guys got popcorn on the mic? I don't remember what happened last. Light wiped his memory, and they're all in like solitary confinement. Oh, so now yeah. he's innocent. I yeah. In a sense. What's up? Hey, y'all. Hey, what up, though? We about to do a little bit of the... Oh, my screen changed to walk again, and I got confused. Hold on. <laughs> I am so... Oh, no, Nahid's leaving. Give me... What? Where are you going, bro? Whoa. He's getting a pop-up away. Everything's falling apart. All right. Hello. Hey. What up, y'all? It's the Normies coming at you with a little bit of death note. Season 1 is only one season. Episode 17, Execution. Here's the thing about an execution. Don't do it yourself. Hire a guy. Yep. The uh, what? No. Hey, what? don't do executions. That's against the law. <laughs> <laughs> you guys agreed. You guys went along with it because it sounded like it was uh, informational information. You're a, agreeable. You have an agreeable hey, tone. The, those hitmans on the internet, they, <laughs> back in the day, they were called mechanics. They're also all cops. So, uh, guys, everybody has had their memory erased, and the continues killings have continued. Somehow. What? Fish, well, fish, fish. That's, the, that's, the, that's what the synopsis of this episode says, after all. Um, no, and we don't know how. Yeah, guys, uh, I hope you're enjoying watching uh -huh. Death Note with us. It has been a fun journey so far. We're like a little over halfway through the show. If you have been enjoying it, come hang out with us in the Discord. We like to get on there sometimes, converse with our fans and supporters. Uh, consider donating and becoming a member on our Patreon and get early access and uncut episodes, and uh, it really helps us out. So, also, if you can't do any of those things, like this video, comment below with your name and picture that I will write down in this in this book here. I just I found oh, <laughs> I found this. You found that book? Yes. Oh, yes. oh no. All the all the Death Note uh, memorabilia you see here and in the other room is from <gasps> editor Hunter. He's a he's a hardcore oh. Death Note weave. He doesn't oh, seem to like Attack this. on Titan, which I think he's very wrong. Very wrong yeah. on that. He yeah. watched past <laughs> season one of Attack on Titan Hunt. I, I think he's just saying that to be cool. No. Anyway. No, that, that uh, also, also this best anime of all time. Ooh, oh. be careful on that one. But <laughs> this Ryuk right here behind me is not from Hunter. It's actually from you guys. Look at him. He's following me because I am light. And like light. I'm gonna write your name down, but I'm gonna send you flowers instead of a murderer. Yeah, yeah. When Aww. you write the name down, they, they get flowers like immediately. Into, oh into, yeah. yeah. All right. That's what everybody needs to. <laughs> before the end of this episode, everyone should think of a death note that doesn't kill people, but you write someone's name in it and something nice happens to them. I, I want them to be tickled. <laughs> that's easy. We're doing super oh, no. all around. Oh, no. I, have to wait. Note. I still need to wait. Note. Note. I'm thinking about it. Nope. The nice note. note. It's nice gotta note. be superpowers. I'm just writing superpowers to people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you want? What do you want? be villains or heroes, but hey, I don't, I don't control <laughs> destiny, so I'm just superpowers it is. Is that how everyone got their powers in the show, Heroes? <laughs> Damn near. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Mohinder, you get it. <laughs> well, guys, hey, you see you over there? I'm making eye contact with you. You know why? Because maybe you're having a rough day. And guess what? This reaction is going to alleviate the roughness of your day just a little bit. Let's hope so. Also, to the people sitting next to you and behind you, which they shouldn't be because of six feet, this ain't no market substitute. I see you guys. You guys are the oh, bad apples that. market substituting things. Don't be a market I substitute, all right? That. That, we already Fish. Said that. When, when do we say we that? We already said it. We already said, said it. Oh, I, I didn't hear it. I, hey. I didn't say the oh. market substitute spiel specifically. So, Chris, you are good. But everything oh, else. Oh, then we were wrong. Marketo, you led me down the wrong path. So. Uh, yeah, listen. <laughs> all right, it takes two bad apples. To make the bunch rotten is what my grandpappy always said. Guys, this is not a market substitute, okay? Do the right thing. Support the OG content. Also, feel free to support us over on Patreon. No, no, we did that. Support us on Patreon. We did that. Uh, I played it. I played it. I played it. Oh, no, no. Cancel. Cancel. It cancel, didn't cancel, play for me. Cancel. Cancel. We need to say a bunch of random words so the NSA is thrown off our scent. Uh, flower pot. Ass. Flower pot. Broccoli. Broccoli and cheddar soup. Crack cocaine. Cheddar soup recipes. Recipe. Remember food. what broccoli Bread was? Bowl. Nipples on small titties. Bread bowl. Nipple butter. Tig old bitty sonade. Bread bowl. What is bread bowl? A bread bowl? You never had a bread bowl? Oh my god. I have. But I thought it Oh, from Panera Bread, the broccoli cheddar soup bread bowl? Oh, fuck. Uh, bread bowl's not a sex thing, girl. It's a fucking bread bowl. It says it in the words. What kind of pervert are you? 
Well, I'm sure there's a Panera Bread. Cinnamon roll is the thing. Wait, yeah, yeah, it's so uh, many bread rolls too. Yeah, it's a Scottish it's a cinnamon roll. <laughs> Listen at that ride symbol, this is my shit. Yeah, I love that part. Before COVID. Yeah. 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 Like, oh, how he plans to get it back. If he even plans to get it back, maybe this was his yeah, end game. You will continue to kill criminals whose names are broadcast. What? You're free to use the death note however you wish. If everything happens as like Yagami planned, this should help save Misa. I told him to do it. I suppose for someone in your position, you call this good business. This dude's just, he's like, fuck them all. Get some greedy businessman to do that because, Yagami, of course, they would do that. Right? It's been over a month since Kira started killing criminals again. So then all that's left is for you to be sure. One way or another, when I get out of here, Dude, I'm, I'm so happy that son. Dad's phone got his sons back now. Wow, the chief can be pretty stubborn. Like, how are you feeling right now? He's been handcuffed for <laughs> Ties a hands, month. Ties his hands, I've been in prison, no new criminals have died. No, Light. The reason criminals have stopped dying is because you are Kira. No! If Light were Kira, he'd know that I was bluffing, so why is he getting so upset? This is just cruel. Hi, Yes. Are you okay? She's been sitting like this for a month? It feels like these three are in a Saw movie. <laughs> yeah. Right. I want to see Light. Uh, I'm not sure how much more of this the three of them can take. Ryazaki, you have no reason to keep Light locked up anymore. Criminals are still being killed, even though Misa and Light haven't had access to any of that information. Not true. All we really know at this point is that Amani harbors an unnaturally strong devotion for Light Yagami. But with all due respect, from where I'm standing, it's starting to look like you're only doing this because you don't want to admit that you were wrong about mm, Light. Yes, I figured. It's turning on him. As Light said, if Kira could kill while under surveillance and without access to information, there would have been no need. Kira doesn't kill without good reason. I've heard you say so yourself on more than one occasion. If he was able to kill under these circumstances, then he wouldn't have been concerned about those FBI agents in the first place. Yeah, there's contradictions. <laughs> 50 days. Ryuzaki, it's time to start looking for the real Kira. Have these people been handcuffed and sitting yeah, in the Yeah, dude, is, is, isn't that torture? torture That's shit. what I'm saying. Like, are they just peeing into the Yeah, do they not eat? Like, what's the hell? Go to the yes. bathroom and shit? I told you, man. Some jigsaw shit. Like, that's death right there, shit. There is yes, holes in the story, so I do see where Elle is coming from, still. So. Would you be willing to come to headquarters just once? I need to talk to you as Light's father. All right, I'll come. Bro, Chief Yagami's had it. His Yo, patience. If I was Chief Yagami, I would go and kill Light. I'm not Light. I would go kill L. I'm done with L. Kill L. They're out of investigation. <laughs> yeah, here accusing my son. You locked my son up. Locked me up. Come on now. Like, come on, man. The killing still happening. What do you tell him? What do you tell him now? Now he just told him a super secret all secret. All this time I never pictured you as an old man, Mr. Stalker. I am not your stalker. He you told me I was being arrested for being the second scanner. No, you're a stalker. There's no way the police would blindfold me and tie me up all fetishy like that. <laughs> Please, just keep quiet. <laughs> These guys should both look emaciated and terrible. Mom! Oh, I missed you so much, Lex. Dad, tell me, what's all this about? Oh my god, I totally called your dad a stalker and said he was an old stalker. <laughs> Man, they really have no recollection at all about the death notes. Let's go. Get in the car. That's a really good out, honestly. Like, I wouldn't want to remember the shit. Yeah, like, I wouldn't want to remember the shit I did with that, anyway. Feels good to finally be cleared. No. I am afraid you two are being taken to your execution. Execution? What the hell are you talking about? No way. I convinced that you are Kira, Light. He is convinced that the only way we can prevent the murders is to execute the two of you. L was trying to get a confession out of you, Light. He would have said anything. It's political now. You see L's suggestion that the killings would stop if you two were eliminated was unanimously accepted by top officials in the UN and the Japanese government. That seems pretty reasonable. They want to disappear. No trial, no publicity. What kind of a father are you anyway? This right. is your own son you're talking about! Who made this decision, not me. Over the years, he's tackled the most difficult cases, solving all of them. He wants to be Spider-Man. <laughs> you trust L more than you trust me, your own son? That's fucked up. So far as if the killings don't stop, then he too will be executed. <gasps> he's making a mistake. You think oh, he's bluffing? Oh, is one hundred percent bluffing. There's no way his dad would have gotten off of this. Super bluff. I know would rely on hard evidence. We're almost there. 
Bro, I uh, I feel like this would have worked if uh, if his memories weren't actually oh. white. Like this sounds yeah, really. Also, I feel like it would have worked if they didn't have the the girl there, because I I think like if the girl wasn't there, like it, it makes it, it just because the dad being there just shows like I don't know, it doesn't like it's just not believable. Uh, the girl being there, you can't kill two people. This? All Wait a sec, I bet he brought us out here to let us go. This will do. I decided it would be better for us if I brought you here instead of the execution site. Yeah, it's pretty reasonable. I'm going to kill you here and then kill myself. <laughs> Get the fuck Please out. Yeah. You can't, that's crazy. Say that. You're no different than Kira. I am nothing like Kira. I am bound by my responsibilities as a parent and as chief of the NPA. As a parent? Yeah, what on, parent kills his own son? At least with this, I'll be the one to do it. I know a guy named William that shot his daughter because he thought she was a robot. <laughs> Can't you see? <laughs> I'm going to die here with my son, but I have no reason to kill you. It's only a matter of time before the police locate this car. Then they'll transport you to the original site. It's going to be covered in brains. My son. From one murder to another, doing this? I'll see you in hell. <laughs> Whoa. I like how the, the camera traveled up the the muzzle and through the oh, barrel. Holy shit! Eye. That was dude. That's this, the end of the, the series, the, the guys. The sign went off. I wonder who he fucking hit. I don't know, man. He didn't shoot anybody. Oh. To ask of Mr. Right. Yagami to do this, because like from one murderer to another, I'll see you in hell. <laughs> no, Dan. <laughs> Fun fact. Pulling a blank that far close to someone's face can still kill them. I would still never forgive my dad yeah, for dude, something. Yeah, dude, seriously, like I would like kick my dad's ass for this shit. Oh my goodness. As soon as I get the book What's back, going I'm on? I don't understand. I know that was hard on you. A blank can still kill you that close to your face. No, that shit's crazy. You must understand. I only would have blinded him at least. Because I believe in your innocence, light. Were you watching, Ryozaki? I'm still alive. Yes. It was a convincing performance. They're on taxi cab confessions too, god damn it. The Kira I know wouldn't hesitate to kill even his own father to save himself. However, as we agreed, I will end their confinement immediately. Amane will remain under surveillance until Kira is apprehended. Hey, no fair! You still suspect me? If I were you, I wouldn't complain. You think of it as complimentary police protection. Uh... I get it. As for your part in this agreement, Light, and cameras you and I will be together 24-7. See, if I was like, I will be whooping his ass. Fuck that. <laughs> that was a fucking weirdo. Fine by me. Uh, I'm glad L's not taking any chances still. Like, he's still suspecting him, even after all this. That, that was a fucking weirdo, like, guy. Fucking I just don't dude. know if Light's ever gonna get his memories <laughs> sure back, so I don't know if he ever will catch him now. This is as difficult for me. What? I never go to the bathroom! Should I by being together 24 hours a day with him? Are you on that side of the fence, Ryuzaki? I told exactly. you. <laughs> <laughs> if you're with him 24 7, then how are we supposed to go on dates together? But it'll have to be the three of us. No way! I think I know it. how a lot of you Death Note really porn parodies start. The adults are just like, well, I guess this is happening. Listen, Misa, that's enough. They have every right to huh? put you in prison. How could you even say that, like? What do you mean, Girlfriend. Soulmate? You're the one who said you fell in love with me at first sight, Misa. It happened in Aoyama on May 22nd, didn't it? I just happened to go there. I don't know why. I don't remember how I felt, and I don't even know what I was wearing. I plead the fifth. And somehow, when you came back from Aoyama, you knew that you were in love with some guy and that his name was Light. Yes, yeah, so what? Tell me, what if Light was Kira? Oh, that'd be wonderful. Oh my god! If anything, it would make me love him even more. What the fuck is she doing? <laughs> She's on oh, something. So, weird, so bad. You're talking about Light being Kira? He wouldn't be scary at all. Look at him. Oh, oh, going, bitch, yeah. shut up! Yeah, is that a confession? What are you doing? Daddy, I just like, fuck, why? Going off like she's just a giddy, like, silly girl, though. Because I'm not the second kid, okay? Oh my god. If needed, you'll be able to contact us using this room's extension. Mr. Matsuda will be accompanying you as your new manager, Matsuda. This old guy's my manager? 
Victor, oh, you can't be serious. Oh, come on, what's wrong with me, Misa? Misa? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Would you cut it out with all this dating, kissing, and Misa Misa talk already? No, it's all right. I just figured out what the problem is. I hate everybody. Misa Amane, it's time for you to go to your room. <laughs> <laughs> Elle's working a long way around for a threesome. Mate, are you serious about her? No. No way. <laughs> and could you at least pretend to be serious for the sake of the investigation? You want me to become intimate with her to gather information about the second Kira? Ryuzaki. I kinda hate you. As much as I want to help you, and as important as the Kira case is to me, I can't manipulate a woman's feelings like that. Wow. To me, exploiting another person's feelings for personal gain is unforgivable. <laughs> <laughs> he believes it. He actually believes that. Yeah, it's it's as if he's a right different there. person. Huh. What if the book makes him a different person? Oh, the book I mean, makes you big fat? We, just, we thought well, it did, though. No, 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 no. I don't think so. They're just having that power will just consciously make you feel bad. He's just forgotten all about it. Well, it would be helpful if you could make sure she doesn't leak information. Do you think we could come up with some kind of alternative to this system of moving from hotel to hotel every few days? Yes, I arranged for a facility to be built. It should be finished in a few days. That's a lot of, that's a lot of tax dollars on the shit. That's a lot of tax dollars. 23 floors Ooh. above ground and two below. There are two helicopters hidden on the roof. What? Are we about to pull yeah, up dude. a heist or what? Don't pass <laughs> heist over here. <laughs> Misa shouldn't have any complaints. He bought a building? So her own floor. Where did you find the finances to build this thing? Internet. No, what? What? I'm sorry, but how is that an answer? No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bad enough already, but personally, I will never forgive Kira for putting my dad and I through this. You should try to get close to Misa and find out about the second. I can't. That goes against I my principles. I hope principle. this light discovers he was actually Kira. I just want to see his face or what he what he what he would think. Uh, nothing. I'm just feeling really <laughs> motivated right now, Chief. Chief Yagami, light. Let's get out of here and bring Kira to justice. I can help but notice you missed my name. <laughs> well, this looks like all of us. Let's get started, shall we? Who is going to die? <laughs> this may be irrelevant, but I have to wonder what prompted Kira to start killing business people in addition to the usual criminals and such. This is the most advantageous course of action for Kira. You have a lot to say considering how stupid you are. <laughs> All of us are now frontrunners to become Yotsuba's next CEO. Our salaries have virtually eclipsed those of the other employees in the company. No matter how you look at it, one of the people in this room has to be Kira. <laughs> <laughs> so, back to business. Human beings are truly disgusting creatures. Wow. They don't even know which one of them are Kira, but they're all agreeing on like, well, who do we want to kill next? Right, did we just put our names in a box? And <laughs> yeah. Throw, shout Probably the because the first person that's like, no, we shouldn't do this, is going to suddenly die. Ooh. Where do we start? Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, they, they built the entire 24 fucking floor... Um, skyscraper with helicopters and finished inside in 50 days? Hey, hey, you got two helicopters, yeah, not just one. one, two. I don't, I don't. Also, fully, in 50 days? Fully financed by M. In 50 I don't, days? I don't think they built it, I think it was already like a built building that he took over. He just said, how did you have this much money to build this? <laughs> Look, I <laughs> think that was already a building, he just took it. He, he, I don't think he built the damn building from start to finish, bro. There's no way in hell. I'm sorry. He ain't that rich. Like, how much money does he make off of solving well, these damn cases? A million each or some shit? Uh, you, that, you have to be right, but I'm, they, they worded it weird. This is true. Okay, we're done. You guys talk now. Somebody is like sawing a... I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It yeah. sounds like there's a wife. Yeah. yeah, it's like next to my now. ear, it feels like. Yeah, it's about, Well, uh... I don't know. I just keep thinking Wiley Coyote like sawing the floor right. in a circle. <laughs> um, so let's go. go on. Do you, do you want to go like one by one? First thing that or happened plot, was plot, plot. the shooting, the, the execution scene, which, you know, the episode was called after. Yes. yes. How about that? So what did you guys think about that? I think, I don't know if I would ever convincingly be able to do that if I was a father and, and he asked me. Because, you know, when he was in the chair and his eyes all like widened up, that's when he was like, 
here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna have to take a gun, you have to point it at your son's head. You're gonna be like, I'm gonna fucking kill you. You have to actually mean it genuinely, pull the trigger. Like, that's a lie. I don't know, man, if I know but would you there and it do it if it freedom, like, meant that, like, you'd be able to get your yeah. son out of essentially what's torture prison. Exactly. His hands were still behind his back. He was in torture prison. Because, But if you're wrong, then dad's risking his life. Dad's going to die. Like, it could have been less a lot of pressure. But yeah, well, at, at the same time, though, like, if I was, the, I, I get where you're coming at, Chris. I think it's a hard ask, but, like, if that was, like, a way to get your son out, I guess it makes sense. But then that's even tougher on the kid and uh, on the kid because light, uh, not light. Um, L never said that you know light is fully innocent. Like at the same token, you know, light's still in part of the investigation. He's not innocent, so I don't think it really helped anything. I think it's just a harder ask on the parents because like if if I was the dad and if you told me to do this and if he passed, then I want to make sure that he's not part of the investigation anymore. But like I'm, if he's still part of the investigation, I don't think I think that's a tougher um. ask. I think that the main objective for uh, Yagami Dad <laughs> is uh, was for him to like make sure that his son is out of that confinement, and he achieved that. Mm-hmm. And I mean, like now that they're him and L have to coexist um, together for a bit, but I mean, as it it does it that is like a solid plan to prove his innocence. I guess I just. I, <sighs> Honestly, at this point where we are, so many human rights violations have been committed that I don't really know what <laughs> universe we are in anymore. <laughs> so, like, I don't even know what is too far anymore, neither. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I don't know if he if there is a limit because of the, the nature of Kira's killings. Like, yeah. you have to stop it no matter what. So I can see that sacrifice being made of, like, doing whatever is possible. So, yeah, I do, I do think it was a genius plan that would have worked, like, had it been pulled off before the memory wipe. Because otherwise, yeah. I, don't, I don't see, like, Death Note Light, like, finagling his way out of that one. Like, you know what I mean? Like, thinking his way, like, no, this is a bluff. Like, yeah. I, yeah. I, I don't know. Do you, as far as, do you think he would kill uh, his dad in this situation? I don't yeah, think he would. I think he would. Uh, yeah, maybe. What were you saying, Spidey? Yeah, uh, no, I was saying as far as like Death Note Light and uh, the light that we're seeing now, like when we're wondering. Uh, uh, the next day, talking. If, um, yeah, and I was thinking about like when uh, we we're talking about how like Death Note Light and like light that we're seeing now, like how the book may have changed them, but then it was just the thought that maybe it's like the power of the book that changed them kind of deal. So anyway, I'm still wondering what we're going to see about that. We haven't seen Ryuk yet. We only see one person with a Death Note right now, so I'm wondering. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. what's going on yeah uh, what are you guys saying do you think the death note actually influences you to be evil I, I i think it's just having that that power will just drive your morals down and like right. yeah that's what that's, i mean you. i think i said this like episode one like anybody who's got the power to kill like indiscriminately like that it's gonna fuck them up and on top of that i want to say like with all the uh, human rights violations that i don't agree with any of them but being that the nature of his killings means that he can kill any world leader on the planet no world leader like no one would give a fuck in fact i'm pretty sure most of like humanity wouldn't give a fuck mm. in general just to know that there's somebody out there on the planet who could write your name in a book and you die instantly or write your loved one's name in a book and you die instantly and you're like we've got it narrowed down to pretty reasonably being between these two people yeah. and those two people were in fucking like some kind of weird Guantanamo Bay, you'd be like, that fucking sucks. But also like most all evidence says it's pretty much one of them. So like, I think that like yeah. people would be okay with it. If you only got fucks, two but, you know, They can write yeah. your puppy's name in there and kill your puppy. Also, L is working his long way around for a threesome. <laughs> <laughs> He's what sure is, bro. He said that shit up for that. Um, going back yeah. to what you were saying, Chris, like, you know, uh, like how, like in the beginning, you talk about the power, like, you know, it's the, not the power, not the book. I, I agree with you with that. also want to talk about with how you're saying, like, human rights violation being violated. I think you, you guys you guys are right on, like, most world readers wouldn't care because, like, this person could kill anybody without... Because I don't think the world leaders and the rest of the police and a lot of people don't know the death note, like, how they're dying. So I think that's kind of far-fetched for them to think it's something magical. So like they had, they had to think of like either he has he has a hitman or he's able to kill somebody, you know, and like with a bomb or something because like they don't know no one knows about the book even like the public doesn't know about the book so that yeah. that seems magical so I don't I don't think them to be like okay this person could kill anybody 
any anywhere in the world because like to them they, that person has to be in somewhat close proximity but you remember they sent the uh, fbi out right so like at least america's oh, kind of aware of it and i know that like people are probably watching the news out of japan about a serial killer who is literally the most powerful serial killer of all time who's completely unstoppable like you know what i mean like this yeah, would be they, news around the world on a regular. So even if they didn't know about the book, they'd be like, it seems like, dude, like, there's conspiracy theories, bro. Like, people are talking about this shit, like, every single day. Like, it's the thing, the, the guaranteed topic around the world is that some dude in Japan can apparently just up and kill you whenever the fuck he wants. Yeah, like, anywhere. Yeah. I, th I think everyone understands that it can happen anywhere, and he doesn't, like, need to be in close proximity with them. Because, like, he's killed multiple people at the same time in, like, jails and stuff, too. So at this like, point, Kira's just an entity now. Like, it's just whoever has the Death Note is now that person that is Kira, and they're doing the thing. Like, I'm wondering if it's just going to be a continuation of them switching people getting the Death Note or if we get it all back to light. Yeah, well, it's, like, again, to talk about the nature of the Death Note, like, what else can you do with that damn thing right. other than kind of, like, morally eat away at your soul? Like, if one <laughs> of us had it, seeing light basically very convincingly and genuinely be like, I would never manipulate a girl. Like, he believes that. <laughs> he, I think he actually believes that, and he, and he would. He is strong in his convictions, but I think that shows, like, no matter how strong we may think we are in our convictions currently, if we got that death note, we would change. Yeah. Like, things would be different, I, I for really sure. Like it would sully your soul. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like, you it's kinda like winning a lottery, you know? Oh, no, I was going to say, like, an example. That's like, you know how when people come in, like, when they're like poor and they come in with so much money all of a sudden like winning the lottery like it's kind of like that 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 power that greed just makes you just be a changed person it doesn't like you 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 let go of a lot of people just because you know you came in with so much money i think that's a poor money management but i know what you mean like yeah i mean it's like it's like um i don't know man it's just yeah if, if you have that power to literally kill anybody like it's going to change you it's going to vastly change you if you went around if you stab two people, you're going to be a vastly changed person. So if you're able to consciously make the decision to kill, what, how many people did he kill? Like hundreds? Mm -hmm. If you're able to no, kill hundreds of people, you're going to change drastically. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> population is yeah. full. So, uh, Whatever, we kill the environment every day. And none of us <laughs> yeah. are guilty. I'm just kidding. It's true. I, 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 what, what, like, I want to ask this question. So like, you know how there's like people out there who are not like their their professions out there, they're like, um, they're not indirectly killing people, but they're indirectly killing people. So like, let's say a CEO of a power plant, like that power plant he builds up, he's not killing people directly, but indirectly down the line he's going to be killing people. He does that change that person? Like the, how how's that different than Kira? Because Kira's not killing them no. directly; it's indirectly yeah, killing. No, I, don't think that's... I think that one of the biggest differences is the intention. Okay. Intention. Yeah. yeah. Also time, like uh. Intense. It's like, you know, if you build a power plant and then the world ends 50 years from now, like, that's so far-fetched. But I think if the dude building the power plant knew that every single lump of coal he burned was a fucking human, that that would be way different, you <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? It's not like, I think, you gotta think about, like, an actual hitman. Like, how morally and, like, fucked up would an actual hitman be? Is it a person you go and talk to and they seem like a super normal guy and then they go out and kill people? Or is it someone who seems like... I have some issues because my whole entire job revolves around snuffing out life for money. At least they're getting money. This motherfucker is doing it just because. So he's just a serial killer for the fun of it. Like, he thinks that he's making the world better, but literally, it's not. So I think at this point, there is much more suspicion on Misa. Misa! Because she has proven that she, like, something's off with her. She, like, fell in love with life. She doesn't remember why or, like... If they find, like, a, a camera footage from, like, the street of her, mm -hmm. and they actually identify her face and see that she was wearing uh, a, disguise. A, a disguise and, like, a, a wig and everything, they, that's going to be, like, a big problem. She's going to have a lot to yeah, explain. Yeah, I think I'm picking up. Which she can't even remember. How's she going to explain it? I don't know. Yeah, she's, yeah. Uh, she's an interesting character, you know. She's... She's like any other girl that just has a huge crush, you know, so the things that she was saying weren't really enough to incriminate her. It's just like a girl being like infatuated. Yeah. I, I wanted to read the middle screens real quick. Uh, one of them revealed that if you traded the eye power for like, you know, you know how Misa has the eye power. Yeah. Um, 
she will continue to have half of her life missing even after losing ownership of her death note. Oh, so, cool. like, oh shit. I that is still that. happening with her. Yeah, I, I'm just looking back at the middle screens now. And the second one says, you may lend the death note to another person while maintaining its ownership. Sublending it to yet another person is possible too. So mm. I don't know if that's what Light did, but he lost his memory. So I don't know if he's like subletting it to Rem or has some deal with him. Because obviously there was some instructions he told Rem, you know, before, mm -hmm. like yeah. some, something that we didn't see, right? No, I, yeah. you're on the giving point. It to something happened now, on the screen. The one percent, which is like the worst group of people that could have mm -hmm. the Death Note, now have the Death Note. So damn, bro, you're sucks. right. You're right. And I, they're playing Russian roulette with it. Yeah. yeah, and he knew they would do that. Like he was like, just give this to the most powerful businessman you can find. And and he knew that that's exactly the type of person that would utilize the fuck out of the Death Note. Mm -hmm. He was right. Damn, he was bro. Bro. I, think that, I never like. I think that makes a lot of sense. I think like the the deal that he had with Realm and they're able to like sublet it to people, but still have ownership. I, it's just a big long con on like saying that. I feel like that. I didn't even know about that. That's crazy. We'll see. But his memories were wiped though, so I don't know if like you have uh, to completely get rid of it to wipe the memories or. Uh, well, maybe there's gonna uh, be well, a really good. Uh... What if you get the notebook back? Then do you get your memory back? Yeah. Or what if uh, he like wrote a note to himself or like filmed a video that only he'll be able to find and like he finds it and just like, hey, so it turns out you're Kira and just like explains everything. Hmm. It'd be crazy yeah. to watch this version of Light like freak out at like his future or his past self. Oh, that'd out. be so dope. It's like yeah. if you found a video of yourself that's like, hey, bro, you committed a bunch of murders, <laughs> but then like we erased your memory. I can never see what? Hold on, what? 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 Video, though. Yeah. Like just to be ready for it, like just to have it in the backlog. Cause he did the whole list of like, if I ever get caught, I've now got like three weeks worth of people that are just gonna start dropping. So it'll mm -hmm. kind of look like it's not me. I don't know. I don't, I don't he, put anything past the kid. He has the whole contraption of like burning the death note in his drawer right. and like the, his doorway, yeah. like putting the, he put something there to see if someone yeah. tampered with the door. So yeah, I, I can see him having the forethought of uh, making a video of being like, look, L, I mean light, this is what you were doing. You killed a bunch of people. Hope you have a nice day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, oh my god. All right. Okay, fine. I will. Um, Nahid, I haven't heard from you, bro. What's going on? Not too much. It's just, uh, I don't know, I'm ready to see where this thing goes. I think it's fucked up that uh, L wants to, uh, like, tie, I mean, just, you know, be tied up to fucking uh, Kira like that the whole entire time. Bro, they're going to be showering uh, together. That's crazy. Yeah, I just like, yeah, yeah. And, uh, it's long enough. He can wait outside hey, the no, shower. I just, yeah. I feel, I, I don't know, yeah. man. I just feel like, that was a bitch. Like, he's just a bitch, bro. Why do you I hate, know, so. why do you, I, he, he have no you argument too. other than uh, Elle is a bitch. Why is he, why is he a bitch? He's the smartest character in the show besides Kira. And he's actually still on point with catching him, despite all the preventative measures that Light has done. Because he's, You can't just say Elle's a bitch with no backup. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he is. is. He's doing he's like, like bitch moves, bro. Soul. Like, like straight up, just like, oh, okay. I couldn't figure it out this way, so I'm gonna sit there and tie myself to you with the rest of your fucking whatever. That's a bitch move, right there. How no, would you? How would you bitch. catch him, Nahid? If you were tasked huh? to catch, how would you catch him if you were? Tasked I wouldn't to tie him. myself to him for like for fucking the rest of the goddamn uh, uh, investigation. I know I wouldn't do that. I'll turn yeah. myself well, else seven. Out. If uh, if it I'm helps, sorry, he, he, he did not If it helps, he did not Okay, you said bitch enough times. Baseless. <laughs> <laughs> get, it out, get it all out. I know you, really you, hate, not you, hate. you really hate L. I feel it. But listen, he didn't look like he was pleased with the situation himself either. He just knew that's what had to be done. Like he was like begrudgingly doing it himself too when he was looking at the handcuff. Here, we look like it. He didn't look like so, it. No, guys, he definitely uh, looked like it. He definitely when, uh, looked. I don't like L either, bro. You get you. When the coronavirus is over, I think we should have a handcuff party. Oh, God. No. It's a party where everybody puts their... Hold on, let me tell you. It's a party where everybody puts their names in different hats, and then you pull it out, and that's the person you're handcuffed to, and you guys just have to drink a case of beer together. Oh, that sounds fun. Until the case of beer is gone. Until the case of beer is gone, you can't unhandcuff yourself. Hell yeah, I'm yeah, down for that. that I'm down for that. Chris, you got some smart ideas, bro, today. What you drinking? <laughs> Coffee, but I, I just I know about handcuff parties. Coffee. I never got invited to one, but I always wanted to go to one. Handcuff that sounds like fun. You I'm know down. about handcuff parties? What? 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 Yeah, what it's not like a weird we thing. It's a fun hand. party concept. Trying to go to a handcuff party tonight? <laughs> okay, oh, you know that's a highlighted party. Shit. I want to say one more thing for 
before we finish this conversation, Ayazawa is my favorite character now. <laughs> because he was just like in the back freaking out like, what is this bullshit? I can't do this anymore. <laughs> and like his, his eye was twitching. <laughs> yeah. He was just like grunting his teeth. And I'm like, yes. It was the I first time. If I was in that room, that would be me. <laughs> It was the first time we saw everybody being like, look, Al, you just don't want to admit you're wrong. Like, oh, yeah. You know what I mean? They were finally starting to see cracks in L's armor. Even though he's still right, he ain't, he ain't no bitch. He's, he's, he's actually <laughs> the one keeping up <laughs> with him. Star, yeah. intelligent person, tennis player. He's just a little kooky, that's all, you know? Like, he, like some people be surprised. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. got some talents. And he got scoliosis yeah, or something. <laughs> yeah, he definitely yeah, has yeah, scoliosis. Yeah, scoliosis. Yeah, multiple sclerosis, one of the two. Well... Let's move on to this next one and get at it. Osteoporosis. All right. Well, guys, see you next time. See ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.